What's going on guys? It's the moment you guys all been waiting for. Yes, it is the best Zane build possible for Slaughter Shaft, Mayhem 3, Mayhem 2, Mayhem 0, Mayhem anything. This is the best build possible, okay? Now, let's just get right into it. So, the first thing you're going to see down below is we have the Arctic Relentless Nighthawking. What's special about this gun, not only is it cryo, which is super important, is that you see that it's anointed with the Sentinel. While the Sentinel is active, you gain 50% of damage as bonus cryo damage, which is freaking huge. So an extra free 50% gun damage. Woo! Let's get it. Then, Dastardly Maggie. Now, the special thing with this is that it shoots out a lot of projectiles, making it very easy to freeze enemies because there's a lot of projectiles coming out of this weapon, which is stupid. Also, we have it anointed with the same thing as the Arctic uh, Nighthawking. So we get that 50% extra damage as bonus to cryo damage. But unfortunately, this gun's not really cryo. But, you know, nonetheless, this gun's super, super powerful. Same thing with the Lucian's Call. We need this one anointed. That's the only thing we are missing uh, with this build is that we want it also anointed while the Sentinel is active getting 50% cryo damage but nonetheless this is the gun you want to have and with the newest patch coming out today later today all those anointed enemies will not be immune to cryo anymore that is ridiculous guys man we don't have to use a fire weapon we don't have to use a flacker we don't have to use any of that stuff we could just still use our night Aachen. now the anointed enemies will not freeze 100 percent they won't freeze at all but they won't be immune to your damage, so you will be dealing all that damage to those anointed enemies, which is really nice. So, next thing is the shields you're going to want to have is the Big Boom Blaster. Now, you want to have the Big Boom Blaster because it drops boosters that restore your shields, gives you a grenade, which is awesome, and the recharge delay is super, super low. It's only 24 which is crazy. Now, the thing which is great is that because it drops boosters on the ground, your character automatically picks them up, which is really sweet. So basically, there's no recharge delay. You pick up those boosters all over the floor, your shield full, uh, fills up instantly, which is freaking awesome. So you have a constantly full shield, which is super important to this build. Now, you want to have the Executor. The Executor is, again, very important. And if we could just appreciate those bonuses down below. I mean, this is stupid. All right, let's get to the bonuses first. So not only do, does the Executor give us more accuracy, handling, critical hit damage, status effect damage, and status effect chance, but look down below. 31% SMG damage, 30% extra grenade damage, and 45% dial weapon critical damage. Now, I don't know if you guys know a lot about dial weapons, but let me show you something really quickly. What is this gun right here? Yes, it's an SMG and it's a DAO. So you can already put two and two together and understand how powerful this Nighthawking becomes. Not only do I get 50% extra damage while my Sentinel is up, okay? I get 31% SMG damage and 45% extra weapon critical hit damage towards my Nighthawking. And... And I also get even more critical hit damage from an Executor mod. Just a little bonus is above. So my Night Hawking is doing insane amount of damage, guys. It's insane, okay? The next thing you want to have is the Recurring Hex. Because of the Cryo Efficiency at 1,167. So it's basically saying it's going to freeze enemies when it's dropped. Practically. Okay, this one's anointed, so I regenerate one grenade when I start my action skill, and it spawns three MIRV grenades, and splits it to two grenades, so there's a whole bunch of grenades everywhere freezing, or giving a better chance to freeze enemies for Zane, making it my action skills infinite, which is sweet. And then, the most beautiful thing you guys ever seen. Look at this icebreaker. Let's just take a minute to appreciate how beautiful this icebreaker is artifact is so let's get started we get 31 35 percent extra bonus to frozen enemies in terms of damage again oh my god how much more damage do we need then cryo efficiency at 50 percent extra which makes it even easier to freeze enemies then because we're playing slaughter shaft there's so many badasses on the field so when we kill one of them for 60 seconds we get extra 80 percent movement speed and 80 percent extra damage which is stupid and not to mention the faster we move the more damage Zane does. So it just keeps going. 
Now, if we look down below, this couldn't be set up any better. We get plus 60% cryo damage, plus another 8% movement speed, plus 27% cryo efficiency. So not only are we moving like super, super fast, which gives us even more damage, and increasing our cryo damage, but we're also getting way more efficiency towards our cryo, making it super easy to freeze enemies, making it unlimited, infinite action skill durations. So you see where this is going. Let's get right into the build. So the first thing you want to do in the double agent tree is put five points in synchronicity and five points into Donnie Brook. Simply again for pure weapon damage. On top of already all the stuff we get already, which is just insane. Then you're gonna to want to put five points into the adrenaline. You're gonna to want to put five points into brain freeze, three points in a stiff upper lip, four points in rise to the occasion. One point in confident competence, one point in really expensive jacket, one point in fertility belt, one point in calm, cool, and collected, one point in refreshment, and one point in the really expensive jacket. If I didn't say it already, I said it again, boys. All right. So you're going to want to equip the barrier, and the two augments you want to have is retaliation because of that extra 10% gun damage, and because your shield will always be taking damage, always be taking damage in slaughter shaft. So free 10% damage right there uh, on top of all the stuff we already have. And all-rounder, because we're just a tank with this. Nobody can basically deal damage to us except melee or the um, the militants who shoot those uh, saw blades. That's only two things. And the turrets. Those turrets can get through your shield, so just try to avoid those if you can or kill them as fast as possible. That's my recommendation. Now, let's get into the last tree, the Hitman tree. You're going to put five points into Violent Speed, five points into Violent Momentum, two points into Salvation, one point into Joe Delivery, one point into Cool Hand, one point in death follows and one point in playing dirty the rest your class mod gives you those extra points in now again i'll show you something quickly so obviously you equip the sentinel with the winter's drone because it converts sentinel's primary weapons to cryo damage which again if you could freeze enemies by any means possible do it so this is really nice and again bad dose weakens enemies make it zane better faster stronger longer taller all the best kind of stuff so zane is just an overall beast so yeah so this is basically the class mod you're going to want to have like i said the executor but i would say with uh these bonuses right here okay so the plus one to the, the rapid fire and plus four to the extra bullets but as you see, my bonuses on the left side are just stupid, so I have to go with that. But ideally, you want to have this one, uh, so which will give you a maximum of five points into the uh, extra projectiles. But the bonuses are just too good to pass up because it makes my uh, my Arctic Night Hockey just stupid. So I had to go with this one, okay? But yeah, that's the one you want. And here is my Guardian rank, guys, for those who are interested and curious. So currently, my rank is 309. You see the bonuses on the left hand side. You guys can pause the video if you really want to take a look and dive into it. But there it is, guys. And basically, we have everything maxed out. That is the whole entire build. That is what you need, guys. Now, given this build is not easy to make, it's not easy to find this anointed sentinel thingy, majiggy. It's not easy to get the Lucian's call. I still haven't even got it yet. The Lucian's call um, anointed. To where you get that extra cryo damage 50% while the sentinel is up. It's hard to find these guys. It really is. It takes a big grind. But that is just what the game is, guys. There's no specific drops. Most of the drops are all world drops. So unfortunately, you guys have to continually grind and farm and do all that stuff. But luckily, we had a video for you guys on how to kill Grave Ward super fast. So maybe it could make it even easier for you dudes. Or try to get some of your friends to dupe their stuff for you guys. You know, we're all out here. We're all out here. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, guys, I'm going to show some gameplay at the end of how good this build is. And again, this is a Mayhem 3, Mayhem 2, Mayhem 1, Mayhem 0 build. So, it doesn't really matter. And because the anointed enemies now, it, a bit later today, will not be immune to cryo damage, this build is just stupid, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hitting that 50 likes yesterday on the on the yesterday's video. So, without further ado, guys, if you guys like what you see, subscribe to the channel, guys. It helps us grow tremendously, and enjoy the gameplay coming up very soon. So, it's your boy, Scare Soldier, signing out. Peace.
say I didn't warn you. Send you on your way. 